All right, right now I am with Ron and his wife, Barbie. We're in his 2015 Dodge Challenger Scatback. This is something we're gonna start doing here at the San Antonio Raceway, kind of a little driver spotlight so they can talk about their cars, talk about how much they love racing, talk about mainly kind of what got them into racing. But uh, I guess that's a good time to start off. Ron, I guess what really got you into drag racing? The drag racing part of it started in 1991 when we got stationed in Colorado. Um, our neighbor, Jerry White, owned a machine shop and a drag car. And uh, I used to go over and help him at his shop and I ended up purchasing an old Plymouth Duster and he helped me with the engine and we got it together. and. I took it down the track in uh, Vandermeer Speedway in Denver the first time in uh, 1992. What year was that, Dustin? It was a 1972. What was the fastest you ran up there in Denver in that About 1550. It was a pretty slow, pretty slow car up there in the in the thin air. Have you ran it up here at San Antonio Raceway? I have. The car has run a quick. That car has run a quickest of 1155 at 116 miles an hour. It has a 416 inch stroked uh, 340 Mopar small block. It runs a uh, 750 CFM Holly double pumper carburetor. Um, it's got a 727 automatic transmission with a trans brake, 430 gears with a spool in the back end. And of course you you and your wife, you, or obviously you guys are at the track every single weekend. And you're obviously car people. I mean, what, I guess, What's kind of your earliest memory that you think that kind of got you into being a car guy? Well, that's an easy one. Looking over my father's shoulder, he used to do a lot of side work uh, in the evenings, and I would go with him wherever he went, and I'm looking over his shoulder, I'm passing him tools, I'm doing all kinds of things to help him um, as he's working on somebody else's vehicle. So I learned an awful lot that way. Do you remember what kind of vehicle usually it was that you guys he did a lot of work on the big diesel um, equipment, uh, backhoes and dump trucks and things like that, but he would also work on Corvettes and Chevelles and, and other cars that uh, like, like that as well. And Barbie, what about you? With me, um, just growing up, I was much of a tomboy. I had motorcycles and we did a lot of traveling to uh, NASCAR races and uh, AMA motorcycle racing as well. What got you guys so hardcore into Mopar? Mopar, no car, baby. <laughs> That's right, Mopar, no car. Initially, it was um, a local friend of mine had a, a 1970 Dodge Dart Swinger with a 340 in it, a tunnel ram, two big Holly carburetors on it, and he used to drag race it. And I used to be down there trying to help him all the time uh, with that car. And uh, it was just so easy to work on a Mopar versus a Ford or a Chevrolet because there's so many things you can do to it um, independently of having to do other things like pull the distributor. They say, I guess a lot of people, their whole thing is like you guys, or especially you saying your dad, I guess this is kind of your first main car memory got you really into cars. Luckily, your son is local as well. Yes, two of my three sons are local, and all three of my sons are car guys. My youngest one is the most frequent participant at the track. Up until recently. <laughs> yeah, a catastrophic failure. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you guys that don't know, he, what year was this Camaro? Uh, 2001 SS Camaro. Yeah, the 2001 SS Camaro that went kaplunk at our track, but he's in the process of He's just dropped the new motor in it now. He's got a, a 5.7 cast iron block LS motor that he's put in it, and he's going to run a 200 shot of nitrous on it. Oh, wow. So it'll be a full-fledged race car. Yes, it's going to be much more race car-like than what his Z28 was. And when it does, you guys have, you have a, quite a long history of drag racing. If you would pick any drag racer to look up to and kind of more of an influencer, who would that be? You know, there's quite a few of them. Uh, if it's going to be funny car, it's John Force all the way. If it's uh, a top fuel dragster, it's Big Daddy Don Garlitz. 
if you're talking a pro stock car, which is my favorite class, you know, you got to go with the Dodge boys. It used to be Daryl Alderman and Scott Jeffrey on, but now it's Jake Coughlin and uh, Erica Enders and also Alan Johnson. You know, uh, for the number of Chevrolets that they have to go up against for those three cars to be competitive is just amazing. What a question about the raceway. I guess what is your favorite thing about the San Antonio Raceway? That's a family atmosphere. It is just phenomenal. Um, when you walk through the pits, the things that are actually available for families to do. You know, if you bring your family out and you're a racer, you can sit there and you can uh, have your little picnic in there in the pits. But you can also walk through the pits and uh, see all the cars that are there to race. And the other racers are just fantastic. They're so receptive to talking about their cars um, when you ask them about things. They're all very, very helpful. If you're having a problem with a specific thing on your car when you're trying to race, you can ask somebody and they'll probably give you some very sound advice. Probably should have told you. I think you should have jumped on interstate and covered this around. It's my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> We can loop around and cut. I did not know this did again. that. Well, see, you learn something new every day. Uh, of course, you have a 100-shot NOS on your on your car. It's a 2015 Scatback Challenger, 6.4 Hemi. Do you have anything else in the works or anything else that you want to do to it? Or uh, Down the road, if I have some type of failure, with the engine in this car. There are plans to put some forged internals in the car so that it will be able to handle the increased pressure from a higher dose of nitrous. Um, there might be a pro charger system in the future for the car as well. That'll be a long ways down the road. It's already a Hellcat killer. Yeah, I like hunting kitties. <laughs> uh, and I guess if you had the opportunity to get any car what do you think that would be? Oh my goodness. Uh, one car. Not one car. The only upgrade that I would take above this car would be a Hellcat. You're going to spend your one car, any car. It's got to be American muscle. Got to be American muscles. Nothing like a big American V8. Big Viper V10. Big American V10. Viper, Viper. Oh, so Barbies is a Viper. Okay. Yeah, it's Mopar, so I mean, it's always in the conversation, <laughs> but you told me one. If I could have a bunch of cars, I'd have two well, Hellcats. that one car, I mean, you could sell it, and you could buy a bunch of Hellcats. I mean, see, I was, I was testing you, Ron. Yeah, well, I'm a loyalist. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, all three of our boys, they grew up at San Antonio Raceway. They were my pit crew when uh, when they were young. Well, now that you brought that up, how long have you guys been going to the San Antonio Raceway? Since it opened. We were there the first night they did a test and tune when the track opened. I used to walk the track while it was under construction. I used to go with Bob Zampezi on his little scooter out there, and he'd give me a whole tour of the facility to show me what was going on, what they were doing, and you know, give me updates on when it was going to com be completed. So right from the very start, I've... Uh, I've been watching this track and coming out here. And back then you were racing your Duster? I was. I used to race it down at Alamo Dragway when it was open. And you've taken part in some of the, the finals as well at the San Antonio Raceway. Uh, yes, I have. I got fired one Friday afternoon. I went to the track with my boss that fired me. <laughs> he broke his car. He wanted to give it up and I said, no, no, no. Put it in a trailer. We'll go to your house, put it in the shop and we'll fix it. We'll be back in the morning. So we left at 10 at night, drove the Balverde. Uh, 6 a.m. in the morning, we got back, and uh, he won the event that, that weekend. Cool. That was the very first IHRA national event at San Antonio Raceway. Yeah, murder. And Barbie, when are you going to start racing? Well, if my son doesn't race the Duster, I, I would like to race the Duster. He's going to continue on with his Camaro. She's gonna have to find her a pit crew. I'm getting too old for that. I'm sure. I'm sure we can figure something out. <laughs> I'm sure we can find some people that are willing to donate their time. But yeah, 
Yeah, she could drive it. She drives better than most males that I've seen. <laughs> up, Ron. I want to thank you. Barbie, thank you.